In this presentation we're going to look at some of the rules of probability. So the question here is based on this information. The events A and B are such that the probability of A is 0.7, the probability of B is 0.5, and the probability of A intersection B is 0.3. So the first part is find A union B, the second part is the conditional probability of A given B, and lastly we have to state whether or not A and B are independent events justifying our answer. So let's look at part one, and let's take a moment here to just to be clear about the notation. So this is A union B, that's how we would verbalize it there, and that means A or B or both. This is A intersection B, and that means both A and B together, not one or the other, it has to be both. So what we're going to do here is use the addition rule for probability. The probability of A union B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now the reason we would sub subtract that is to get stop it getting counted twice. So using our values from earlier, 0.7 for A, 0.5 for B, and A intersection B is 0.3. So the answer is 0.9. So the next part is as follows. Com compute the probability of A given B. So that's how we would verbalize that, A given B. And what we're specifically interested in is the probability of event A occurring, given that B has occurred or is also occurring. Now, the rule we there use there is the conditional probability formula. A intersection B divided by probability of B gives us A given B. So just to be clear about this, B is on the right-hand side of this bar, and that corresponds to B being the, denom the denominator in this division here. So if it was B given A, we would have A down here instead. And using our data, 0.3 divided by 0.5 gives us 0.6. So the probability of A given B is 0.6. Now lastly what we have to do is state whether or not A and B are independent events justifying our answer. Well, A and B are independent events if the following expression is true. A intersection B is the probability of A times the probability of B. So let's check out if that's true. Well, we have 0.7 for A, probability of A, times 0.5 is the probability of B, and that gives us 0.35. We know this is not true because from earlier on we were told that the probability of A intersection B is 0.3. Therefore, A and B are not independent events.